everyone welcome back to my channel it's a beautiful day today so i thought it would be perfect for filming uh it's been quite some time again since my last video um but i'm back here with a really really cool one or i hope you will like it um and today we'll do an unboxing of my recent purchase the first impressions and i'll do some modeling shots as well uh, now it didn't come in a box so maybe i should say i'm bagging um but from the size and the pouch i'm sure some of you might guess what it is uh, but anyway, I bought this one in France quite recently, about uh, a month or two months ago, just before I came back here. And I haven't opened it yet. Uh, you know, I've been quite busy moving back here. I'm not sure for how long, but um, yeah, it's, it's been quite a, quite a hectic couple of months here. But uh, I also promised myself I'll be back doing some more reviews. Uh, I saw that a lot of you engaged in my previous old ones, which I'm quite embarrassed about. Uh, but uh, but anyway, I saw that a lot of you had questions. They had a genuinely like a genuine interest in what I was filming. Um, so I thought, why not do this unbagging video? Show you guys what I think about this bag, the first impressions, and do some modeling shots. So without further ado, let's dig in. So this bag, from the size, I'm sure you can kind of suppose, is the Kate um, Saint Laurent Kate bag and um, it's in the medium size. Now, Saint Laurent, something that I don't really like about them, they don't give you any boxes. So it's pretty much wrapping and a dust bag, which is okay, but I feel like for the price point you're paying, they should give you a box as well. Um, I remember that when I bought online the Sac du Jour, of which I will do a video quite soon, um, it came in a box, but that's only because I purchased it online. And I feel like if you're purchasing it through a store, they should also give you a box because then where do you store your bag? So that's my little rant, little negative point. Uh, I think Celine is the same. The, the couple of bags I bought, they, they had no boxes. Um, but, uh, but anyway, they wrapped it quite nicely. So this was a quite new one. Um, it's in the color Bordeaux, so dark red. And they wrapped it super nicely for me, so let's check it out. And it traveled pretty well, so I will start by taking this off. I don't know how to do this nicely. Ooh, ooh. quite exciting. I was waiting to film it before I could use it, so now I'm quite happy that I can actually finally do it. So here we go. I'm just gonna do a little closer here. So as you can see, it's in burgundy with the silver hardware. Yay, it's so nice because it's so new. Um, it's got like a magnetic button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this bag now for the next few days, um, few weeks maybe. And I'm going to do an updated review after maybe a month or so of using it and see how I like it, how I can store my stuff, what fits in it and everything. Um, but for now, let's just see. So this is how the inside looks. Here you can see it says Saint Laurent Paris. So it's quite funny because it's rebranded Saint Laurent but they kept this monogram which I absolutely love. Um, the inside is basically okay, one main compartment as you can see with one little pocket here. So that little pocket obviously you can't fit much. I don't know if I can even fit my phone to be honest because it's quite thin. Uh, but I would put like cards maybe or you know, receipts perhaps. Uh, this part also still has the blue sticker. So this is a chain with the Saint Laurent here. And yeah, so let's unwrap this chain. The long chain. I'll put the measurements in the description box uh, because I don't have them on the top of my head. Uh, but from what I gather, um, when I first tried this bag, uh, it was in 2014, and I, I fell in love with it. And but what I didn't like at the time was that I found this chain was way too long for my body frame. But I don't know if they changed the model in between, it's been five years so possibly, but when I tried the bag in January, I thought, oh, the, the chain kind of shortened. And I actually love the way it sits now on my hips without having to, you know, before when I tried it, I had to tuck half of the chain inside and cross it just to make it shorter and to make it look nice on my hip with just like that. And I feel like they might have shortened the, the, 
the chain because now I don't have this issue anymore. So it's quite nice. And you can, of course, um, double it as well. You know, it make it quite nice. But I honestly prefer just one long length chain. Um, that's just personal preference. And yeah, so I'm gonna do more close up here so you guys can see a little bit more. The leather is absolutely gorgeous. The monogram, super shiny. Then this part here with the Saint Laurent. Here we go. And once again, I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Saint Laurent here. And this is how it looks. It's very roomy. Like you can easily fit an iPhone Tennis Max and you know, your Sunny's wallet, uh, probably passport even. Uh, I, I think this, is, this bag is so versatile. And since 2014, I really wanted it. And I don't know why I kept delaying the purchase. And I thought, okay, now I really, really want to go and get it. And also after seeing this color, I thought, you know, I didn't want the, the, the classic black one. And I thought this is the perfect color that suits me because I wear a lot of beiges and blacks and you know like neutral colors and I feel like Burgundy goes so well with it um, so yeah this was the little short unbagging and first impression um, so far I absolutely love it like I said I will wear this bag see how the use goes and I will definitely do a uh, what's in my bag video as well what can I fit but I'm pretty sure I can fit quite a lot without stuffing it too much oh and one more detail here as well you know you have the so now we can go into the modeling shot so just to give you quickly an idea this is right now how it looks but I'll do on my hips I'll do some better shots right now so this is right now roughly how it sits but let's go and see a little bit closer and see you soon enjoyed those modeling shots uh, and I'll see you in my next video subscribe if you liked it thumbs up or otherwise you can dislike it but I hope you enjoyed it bye